Welcome to Bates Bushra, I'm Bushra and this is my home. Today we are making a fetid magdus, fetid eggplant fete, and these are the ingredients you're gonna need. Main components, um, you're gonna need some eggplant, small ones, okay, small, that's my, small in my hand. Um, you're going to need ground beef mm, cooked, I have some ground beef cooked here, I'll show it to you in a minute, and you're gonna need some pita bread, you can use white or whole wheat pita bread. You also need some onion, tomato paste or tomato sauce, or if you're lucky enough to have really good uh, tomatoes in season, you can make your own tomato sauce, obviously. All right, so let's get started. I actually already got started. All right, so for the meat mixture here, we just have some ground beef. Heat your pan, put some oil, any, your favorite oil or uh, butter that you like into your pan, and then cook the meat with some salt, pepper and seven spices is good or if you don't like seven spices any of your favorite meat spices or if you just want to go really basic you can just do salt and pepper and then we put some slivered almonds in here you can also add pine nuts we didn't have today but that's a variation so i do this first so it can cool down because this is the filling for the eggplants right next let me show you the eggplants here they are in water uh we put them in water because they get brown pretty easily Okay, first you're gonna start by taking off the top here. Try to make it as straight as possible. And you're gonna need one of these coring contraptions. I think it's just called a core. Then, so that you don't, you know, puncture your eggplant on the bottom, measure, like use this to measure your eggplant on the side here. And then put your thumb to see like how far you can go in. So this is how much I'm going to go into the eggplant so that I don't go too far to the bottom and I don't puncture all the way out. Um, and that's exactly how I'm gonna hold my core. core. Okay, you're gonna do one straight um, coring here in the middle. And go as far as where your thumb was, right? Where you measured it. You put a little bit of pressure into your palm to wedge, to unwedge the or to you know, disconnect the inside from the eggplant. And this beautiful piece here is gonna go straight into the water. And then you're gonna shave off a little bit more of the eggplant from the inside. Perfect, awesome. <laughs> and then you're gonna do your zebra pattern. So like okay. All right, then you put it in the water so that it doesn't get too dark. Okay. And we leave these to the side. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh. Next we're going to do a work on our bread. I'll check out my description box. All of the ingredients are in the description box below. The full recipe is um, on my blog. Also the link is in the description box below. And if you'd like to support me, just leave a comment and tell me what video recipe you'd like to see next. We have three options for this, for this these air croutons. Um, is to use the air fryer, which is what we're oh, going yeah. to do. Or you can deep fry them, or you can put them in the oven. Um, if you're gonna air fry them, or if you're going to use the oven, you have to put a little bit of oil on them so that they crisp up. But you need them nice and crispy. Okay, next we're going to... So this dish is so delicious, but it has so many like little parts to it, which is actually the essence of Arab cooking anyways. Different little parts to it. So the next part we're gonna do is we're going to fill the eggplants with the, uh, with the filling, the meat filling. Some people like to fry these first and then fill them. However, uh, I find that it's easier to like it's easier to fill it before you fry them because they're still like solid and after you fry them they get a little bit soft so I think it's easier to do it this way I'm gonna show you how to do it very simple you just stuff it but I like to stuff my uh, eggplants over the meat section here because it's such a small like space and when you drop the meat it just drops back on the meat so does that make sense? I hope so. You can shake it to get them to go down. Let's shake it my love. Stuck. Okay. And that's it. You're going to fill all of them. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like right here. You just stuff it like this. And then you use your little finger, pinky finger, to 
push the meat inside. And it's okay if you stuff it pretty like to the top, but don't like jam pack them in there because you want the flavors to kind of get through. Next, 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 we're gonna do, we're gonna toss this in some olive oil. Okay. To coat all of your bread pieces. And then I'm gonna put these in the air fryer for just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna check it out after each minute. Another way to do this, like I said, is in the oven. You can do it. And if you put it in the oven, I don't know, cook it around 250 or 300 and just check it and um, turn them so they're all crispy. So next you're gonna make the bedway. And the bedway is made from yogurt, tahine, lemon juice, and salt and garlic. This is two cups of, this is two cups of yogurt. One cup of tahine. Okay. Half a kilo. Wow. Is it like that? Two to one? Oh, it's a two to one ratio. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm just confirming with my chef. <laughs> oh my God, I love the smell of tahine. Next, I'm going to add the garlic. This is two cloves. Fresh garlic. I'm going to taste it now to see how much lemon you want. So sometimes your lemons are very sour and sometimes they're not. And also if you have a preference for how sour you like it, um, put some and taste it as you go. You don't want it too liquidy because you want it to be like a layer, a layer of yogurt. But you don't want it too thick because then it's not spreadable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is good. Oh, perfect. Okay, I only need half of it. Cut it first this way. And then I want Slices, okay, onion slices. Because I want these. I want them to look like this. Okay, this is the size. The air fryer is frying the bread. And we got the eggplants gonna be fried very soon. We're so close to assembly. You just gotta make the sauce. This is enough for me. Okay, once your eggplants look deep fried, they look like this, you want to take a pot and put some oil in there. Heat up the oil and add your onion slices. Uh, we added a shallot here, which is optional, but you don't have to do that. When the onion has wilted and starts to look a little bit translucent, you can add the tomato paste. We put five ounces of tomato paste in here, uh, toast it a little bit, um, saute it, I mean, and then add your hot water so that you can start to dissolve the tomato paste in the water and create a sauce. This is where you also want to add the lemon juice to add a little bit of acidity and tartness, sharpness to the tomato sauce. This is going to simmer for a little bit. Once it starts to boil, you can add the eggplant, the fried eggplant that you had fried already. And the eggplant is going to continue cooking in the sauce so that all the eggplants will continue cooking and the flavors will marinate together and develop a little bit more. Then you're going to cover your pot and let this simmer until the eggplants are fully cooked and your sauce is ready. Okay, so we're gonna assemble this now. We have our toasted, crunchy pita bread. And you're gonna start by putting the sauce, the delicious red sauce that you made. Two ladles is not gonna be enough, I don't think. Need more. Okay, and actually I took the eggplant out. The eggplant is here. I took it out because I wanna place them on the top and it's easier to scoop out the sauce when it's like this. Okay, you're also gonna put some of your bedwe, your white sauce. All right. And we're gonna mix. Now, the point of this is that you're gonna have the bottom layer um, to have most of the red sauce. Okay, I'm also gonna add some ground beef because I feel like there's not enough, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I feel like there's not enough ground beef in the small eggplants and I like to have this a little bit more meaty. And your sauce should be hot, your meat should be hot, your pan should be hot, your bread should be hot because this is cold. Because the yogurt is cold and so it's gonna bring down the temperature a little bit. So, I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce, I like it saucy. Oh, it smells good already. We're gonna have 
the Bedou layer of Laban here. So the top layer here is white. I'm actually so hungry. Some toasted almond. Beautiful. Congratulations. Oh my god. Bismillah. Alright, let's do this one more time. You're going to have your toasted bread on the bottom and then the sauce. Plus you add the bedwe and you mix them around to make the bread a little bit softer again. In this version, we put the chopped cubed fried <laughs> eggplant and then you can put the bedwe sauce on the top. This is kind of easier than um, stuffing the eggplants and we put the meat mixture on the top just another way to layer and decorate it eat it it looks so good Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Fatit Magdus recipe. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you next time, inshallah. I'm going to try this. Bismillah. Mmm! Mmm! It's tart. It's lemony. It's tart from the yogurt. It's creamy. And the eggplant is delicious, alhamdulillah. Crunchy. Samne. The Sunday tashe is, don't forget it, uh, don't skip it. Definitely do it. It's, it tastes like shan, it tastes like cereal. Mm. Alhamdulillah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time, inshallah.